Folks, we've got a sick baby to take a look at. I'm back in the office seeing sick kids. Yes. Woo! Hey. Look at this full back. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Well, we're gonna get a smile out of you. Peekaboo, maybe. <gasps> there we go. There we go. That's always a good sign, right? I I think if you've got a kid, you can't make them smile. You're in trouble. Right. Yeah. Tell me the story. When did this illness start? What symptoms have you seen? Running nose, nose uh, upset stomach, ah. diarrhea. Oh wow, the whole the whole shebang. Um, about six days ago. How high was that fever? One oh two. One oh two. Yeah. The highest. So five days of fever. What other and symptoms? Super, like you can see in his chest. And so cough. Cough. Um, oh. Not nice. sleeping. Not sleeping. Are you fussy too? Very fussy. Very fussy. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's not good. Ta -da. Lungs are good. I do hear, you're probably hearing that raspy yeah. breathing sound kind of. <laughs> yeah. Pop, 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 rattle, rattle. It's all noise in the upper airway. Okay. Oh, Shabby, put him on this other shoulder. Oh, actually. Oh, that is rare. He's bulging, that's what I thought. All right, you ready? Oh, nice job going off. Perfect, that throat is perfect. There's a mucusy sounding cough. If you put a baby to the breast and they can stay latched, their oxygen is fine. Now, if they keep pulling off because mm -hmm. they're looking for air, it may just be that their nose is plugged. Yeah. And when you plug their mouth and their nose is already plugged, of course they're gonna have to pull off for air. But even if you get a 30 second minute of nursing where we stay on, the oxygen's good. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and yeah, you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your pulse ox will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. 92! If you're happy and you know it, check your pulse ox. Pulse ox, 93! If you're happy and you know it, check your pulse ox. 93! If you're happy and you know it, we can surely see it on our pulse ox. If you're happy and you know it, check your pulse ox. Yay! 95, 96, 97. Yes! I feel much better about that. Okay, this proves the point I wanted to make and our viewers got to see this live. The pulse ox that's real is the highest mm -hmm. number you get because what it's doing is, you saw that beep, 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 beep. Well, if you miss a beat, it is an average of all the beats. Mm -hmm. And so in little kids who are moving, if you're missing several beats, you'll have a really low pulse ox and you'll think, oh my gosh, we need to go to the hospital. Not so. I've had several kids who were sent to the hospital from my office over my career get to the ER and it's normal. Okay. Because ah. you were not waiting long enough, working hard enough to make sure you got a really reliable catching every single beat. So 97 is actually normal, yeah. which is a little better than I thought we would get. So we've got lots of wiggle room here. Okay. There's no danger. If you happen to get a pulse ox, you happen to get a reliable result and it's below 90, we need to be seen. Okay. Between 90 and 93 is borderline. We still have to address the ear infection, whether or not you want to treat that with antibiotics. I think it's a reasonable choice given we also have a cough and even though I suspect almost all the respiratory symptoms are viral, ear infections can be viral or bacterial. We tend to think they're more bacterial. Okay. It's a judgment call, honestly to treat or not with antibiotics. Uh, we tend to overdo antibiotics, so I'm not pushing that hard. I'm just having a conversation about that. Um, I've seen a shift over the last decade from doctors we used to always treat ear infections with antibiotics to now we're almost sort of leaning towards not, mm -hmm. and just, especially with a viral illness. If the fever was completely gone and the trend, how about the trend on irritability and fussiness? 
feel like it's getting worse. Getting worse? Getting worse. I'd probably treat them. We're still having fevers that are real. We've got fussiness that's real. We've got a cough that's getting deeper. Right. Even though the cough might just be the, the uh, bronchiolitis sort of stuff, we've got reason to treat. I mean, you can get bacterial pneumonias as well, so that would help cover for that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Well, folks, there you have it. Thank you for sharing this story. I think it will be helpful to others. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Bye. We'll see you later.